At age 81, Linda Evans has finally spoken out about the horrible things that happened in her marriage to John Derrick. The shocking and heartbreaking things she finally said about her life behind the glamorous Hollywood mask are shocking and heartbreaking. She had kept her story secret for decades. Linda Evans is ready to tell John Derrick the sad truth about her marriage. She tells him the truth about the emotional problems and problems in their relationship in a passionate and honest confession. From the loneliness she felt to the stress of living in the public eye, her words paint a clear picture of the problems that were going on beneath the surface of their life that seemed perfect. People who have liked Linda for a long time are now being faced. Who has a different side to her story that shows how strong and resilient she is in the face of hardship? What did they do with each other? And why did Evans tell everyone about her time with Derek? Let's find out what Evans really said about her marriage to Derek. Linda Evans's career began in humble beginnings. She was born Linda Evenstad on November 18, 1942, in Hartford, Connecticut. She went on to become one of the most famous actors of her time. Both of her parents, Arlene and Alba Evenstad, were skilled dancers, which may have helped shape her early life in an artistic way. Evans was shy as a child, even though she grew up around performers. This trait would push her toward the world of drama and eventually set the course for her famous career. Evans was introduced to creativity from a very young age because he grew up in a family that loved the performing arts. Even though both of Evans' parents were dancers, that didn't mean she automatically wanted to be an actress. It was a... She was a shy and introspective child who had trouble expressing herself freely. Because of this, she first thought of acting as a way to deal with her problems rather than as a job. Her Norwegian heritage also helped shape who she is, and the Scandinavian roots of her family name, Evenstad, show this. Many generations ago, the Evenstad family moved from Norway to the United States. They brought with them a strong sense of tradition and hard work, which would shape Evans' life both on and off screen. Evans moved to North along with her family. She lived in Hollywood, California, when she was very young. There she went to Hollywood High School, which is known for having ties to the film business and being close to the center of Hollywood. While she was at Hollywood High, Evans became a sorority sister of future actor Carol Wells. This was Evans' first contact with future stars and the Hollywood scene as a whole. Even though Evans was shy, as a way to deal with her feelings of insecurity, she started acting. As a teenager, she started taking drama lessons, mostly to get over how shy she was. Her goal in acting wasn't so much to perform in front of other people as it was to get out of her comfort zone and connect with the world. It was healing and helped me express myself and learn more about myself. Evans has talked a lot about how powerful. It was a powerful experience because it helped her connect with emotions and feelings she had been hiding because she was shy. Evans got better at what she did, and it became clear that she was naturally good at playing. Although she hadn't had any official training at the time, she was able to show a wide range of emotions with a subtlety and depth that surprised everyone. How beautiful she is. Together with her growing belief in her own skills, these traits made her stand out among her peers. In the end, what started out as a way for her to deal with her shyness turned into a Hollywood job. When Evans chose to become a professional actress, she knew she needed a stage name that was more appropriate for the business. Evenstad was a nod to her Norwegian roots, but it wasn't a name that would come naturally to her. Roll off the tongues of Hollywood casting directors and filmmakers in the 1960s. As a lot of young artists did at the time, she chose Evans as her stage name because it was easier for people to remember. That small but important action helped her create the public image that would come to be associated with TV glitz and drama in the years to come. 
Evans started her acting career with small roles on TV. By the early 1960s, she was making guest turns on hit shows like Bachelor Father 1960 and From 1960 to 1962, Ozzy and Harriet's Story. Even though these were small parts, Evans proved that she was a steady and skilled actress. People liked her because she looked and acted like the nice girl next door, even in the beginning. Evans got her big break when she was chosen as Audra Barkley on the popular TV western The Big Valley, which ran from 1965 to 1969. Evans played the lively daughter of the big and strong Barkley family. Evans showed off her ability as an actress when she played Audra, a character who was both strong-willed and caring, but also very independent. The show took place after the Civil War, and was one of the most famous westerns at the time. Evans learned a lot from working with Hollywood veterans like Barbara Stanwyck. Stanwyck, a famous actor who was known for. She was Evans's mentor in a way, as her strength and skill shaped how she acted and how hard she worked. Evans has said many times over the years how much she learned from Stanwyck, not only about acting, but also about how to deal with the often difficult people in the entertainment business. Stanwick's firm, no-nonsense attitude and caring guidance made a deep impact on the young actress. After The Big Valley ended in 1969, Evans kept working steadily in TV, but it was hard for her to find parts with as much depth as Audra Barclay's. In the 1970s, she was in a number of TV movies and guest starred on several shows, becoming known as a dependable and skilled actress. Even though Evans was very successful early on, the parts she played at this time tended to cast her as a sweet and pure beauty. This was very different from her most famous role as Crystal Carrington on Dynasty, where she showed her dramatic range. Evans' personal life was a mess while she was working hard at her job, especially when she was married to actor and director John Derrick. Relationship Linda Evans Linda Evans is married to actor and director. John Derrick was a turning point in her personal and work life. It seemed like a fairy tale romance at first, but the actress would go through a lot of heartache and mental pain in the relationship. When Evans met Derek, she was a young actress with a lot of promise. They met on the set of The Big Valley in 1965. Derek was a famous actor in Hollywood who was 30 years older than her and was known for his good looks and charm. Evans was deeply drawn to his fiery and passionate personality, and even though they were different ages, she fell deeply in love with him. The friendship had grown stronger by 1967. In that year, Derek asked Evans to help him with one of his projects. He wanted her to run a camera while he filmed Evel Neville's famous motorbike jump over the fountains at Las Vegas' Caesars Palace. Evans filmed the jump, which sadly ended in a terrible crash that hurt Neville very badly. This event showed what kind of early part she played in Derek's life she was not only. She was his wife, but she was also someone who would get caught up in his work and personal goals, often at the cost of her own. Evans and Derek got married in 1968, but their marriage was troubled from the start with uneven power dynamics. Evans, whose work in TV and movies had been growing steadily, found herself pulling back. Derek took over their relationship, taking her out of the spotlight. He was bossy in both their personal and work lives together, and it was clear that he had an effect on the choices she made right away. In talks after the breakup, Evans said she didn't fully understand how much of herself she had lost. Derek told her she shouldn't try to become an actress because her main job should be to be his partner and model, not to be a famous actress in her own right. Evans loved Derek very much, and for years she did what he asked, giving up her job and her goals to be the devoted wife he wanted. She thought that love meant giving up something, and she was ready to do almost anything for the man she loved. 
However, this hurt her happiness and sense of who she was a lot. As time went on, Evans became farther away from her own goals. She later said in interviews that she didn't know how much she had given up to make the marriage work. She said she lost herself in her love for Derek because she thought love meant giving up parts of herself to meet his needs. Their relationship was not like most. Derek was notorious for being very independent. He was also known for being possessive and controlling, even though he was brilliant and passionate. Evan's own wants and needs were often overwhelmed by his strong personality, and she found herself living in his shadow more and more. She stayed with him anyway, because she thought her love for him would be enough to keep their marriage going. Their marriage ended when John Derrick told her that he was having an affair with Mary Kathleen Collins, who would later go by the name Bo Derrick. Not only did Evans feel bad about cheating on his wife, but Bo was also 30 years younger than Derek. Evans was shocked to find out about the affair because she was still deeply in love with her husband. Many things were sacrificed for the marriage, just for it to fall apart in the worst way possible. Derek's affair with Bo Derek was the last straw in a marriage that was already struggling because of a need for control and sacrifice. Bo, who was young and innocent at the time, would later think about how complicated her connection with John Derrick was on an emotional level. She said in interviews that she felt terrible about the hurt she caused Evans. Bo didn't fully understand what would happen if she dated a married man at the time, particularly one who was a lot older than her. After the fact, Bo felt very bad about the part she played in ending the marriage and admitted that Evans had been through a lot. Evans had the hard choice to leave John Derrick in 1974, after the affair, because she had put so much of herself into the marriage, it broke her heart. When Evans broke up with Derrick, it was the start of a new chapter in her life. She would rediscover herself and her job. In interviews many years later, Evans said that if she had stayed married to Derrick, she would not have been able to play her most famous part on Dynasty. Even though it hurt, the end of their marriage gave her the freedom to go after the job she had put on hold for a long time. Not long after she broke up with Derek, Evans turned to her work to help her feel better. She asked her agent to find her any parts that were open because she was desperate to get away from the emotional turmoil of her real-life nightmare. Unexpectedly, the part of Crystal Carrington on Dynasty came her way during this time of inner turmoil. Evans fell in love with the part of the woman because she saw herself in the character someone who had been through hard times but kept her respect and grace. Evans became a leading lady in her own right after Dynasty's success, a part that had been overshadowed by her marriage to Derek for a long time. Make it big in the 1980s, Linda Evans had a lot of success, especially for her role as Crystal Carrington on the popular primetime soap show Dynasty, her role as the kind but strong woman. Her role as the beloved wife of oil tycoon Blake Carrington John Forsyth that made her a TV star. The story of the show was mostly about Crystal's troubled marriage and power struggles with Blake's ex-wife, Alexis Colby played by Joan Collins. Evans' act was a big part of why the show was so successful it became one of the most watched of the decade. It was 1981 when Linda Evans got one of the The Golden Globe Award for Best Actress in a Television Drama Series was the best honor she could get for her role on Dynasty. This award, which recognized her ability to give the character of Crystal Carrington both beauty and emotional depth, was a big deal in her career. Evans' win at the Golden Globe cemented her position as a top TV actor and a key part of Dynasty's appeal. For her role as Crystal, she won. From 1982 to 1985, she was nominated for a Golden Globe every year, which shows how consistently and compellingly she performed on the show. Dynasty was at the height of its popularity at this time. 
topping the ratings and becoming a culture phenomenon. Evan Evans's character became famous for being honest, stylish, and having a rough relationship with Blake and a strong rivalry with Alexis. Not only did she win a Golden Globe, Evans was up for the outstanding lead actress in a drama series Primetime Emmy Award in 1983. This nod made her skills and the difference she made on Dynasty even more clear. Even though she didn't win the Emmy that year, being nominated made her one of the most respected TV actors at the time. The nomination for an Emmy was a recognition of both her star power and her ability to give acts that made people feel deeply. How popular Linda Evans is on TV. She also won several People's Choice Awards, which showed how popular she was with the public. People loved her so much as Crystal Carrington that she won the People's Choice Award for Favorite Female Performer in a new TV program in 1982. People kept liking her, and in 1983, 1984, 1985, and 1986, she won the People's Choice Award for Favorite Female TV Performer. Getting these wins in a row was an amazing feat that showed how much people still loved Evans and her character. People vote for the People's Choice Awards, which showed how Dynasty had become an American TV classic and how Evans had won the hearts of fans. Evans was successful in more ways than just winning popular awards. In the world of soap operas, she also became well-known. As a lead actress, she won the Soap Opera Digest Award for Outstanding Performance in 1984 and 1985. These awards showed how great she was at the type of show she was in and made her a famous name in the world of television melodrama. With its complex plots, emotional conflicts, and dramatic turns, Dynasty was a lot like a soap show. What made Evans stand out from her peers was her ability to handle these things with honesty and style. The way she portrayed Crystal, who kept her cool, even when the Carrington family was a mess, impressed both fans and reviewers, earning her respect. Evans had an impact that went beyond the screen. Her popularity on Dynasty led to a well-known advertising deal. Crystal Light, a low-calorie drink, hired her as a spokeswoman because of the name of her Dynasty character, Crystal Carrington. In the advertising effort, Evans promoted the product in a way that was similar to how she acted on screen, which was classy and sophisticated. Evans' work on the Crystal Light ads helped them do very well. Her star power and her connection to the glamorous life shown on Dynasty. This endorsement deal showed how much Evans related to Crystal Carrington's character and the traits she stood for as an ideal woman. Evans had already become a TV star because of her beauty, grace, and elegance, and the promotion made that image even stronger. The award-winning work Linda Evans did on Dynasty and her. Her wide appeal on TV made her one of the most famous actors of the 1980s. Her work on Dynasty not only earned her praise from critics, but it also cemented her reputation as a top actor in the business. Evans eventually turned her attention away from the public eye, but fans and reviewers still praise her work on TV during this time. Fans still love her, and not just for her part in Dynasty. They also remember her for her grace, beauty, and the strength of. She brought a character to life on screen. Evans has fairly good relationships with both John Derrick and Bo Derrick over the years, even though the end of their marriage was painful. Evans, who has always said she can love deeply, decided to let go of the past and move on. She even said nice things about Bo and said she couldn't be friends with someone unless she really liked them. Evans said that things were awkward for a while after the affair, but she and Bo both moved on with their lives in the end. Evans says she still loves people even when she's not with them, she just loves them in a different way. Evans and Bo have kept in touch. In fact, Evans called Bo on her birthday. 
Evan's kind nature is shown by her ability to accept and stay friends with people who have hurt her. Besides his second wife, Evan stayed friends with other people in John Derrick's life. Susan Andress is an actor. Their special bond, despite their complicated past, shows that Evans believes in healing and doesn't hold on to anger. Evans has been honest about the hard time she went through during her marriage to John Derrick. The connection broke her heart, but it taught her a lot about love, who she is, and how to be strong. Evans is very strong and determined because she was able to get through the problems in her marriage and rebuild her life and work. She didn't see the end of her story when she and Derek broke up. Instead, it was the start of a new one in which she rediscovered her independence, embraced her work, and finally found peace within herself. Evans was through a lot, but she came out stronger, smarter, and more focused on her own happiness. Her story is a powerful lesson that it is possible to go through tough times and still succeed feel better and keep moving forward with ease and honor. Linda Evans's life and attitude have been changed by many personal and health problems, not just her sad marriage to John Derrick. Challenges in life, one of the biggest problems she faced was being told she had idiopathic edema, a disease that causes people to retain fluids for no apparent reason and can lead to swelling in different parts of the body. Evans's diagnosis made her look into alternative ways to heal and made her spiritual and philosophical views grow in ways that would have a huge impact on her life. Idiopathic swelling caused Evans a lot of trouble, and it changed her life. Due to the frustratingly high cost of conventional medical treatment, she looked for options outside of Western medicine. After that, Evan started to look into alternative ways to heal. He looked into a lot of different approaches, such as naturopathy, which believes that the body can heal itself with natural remedies, and Eastern philosophy, which believes that the mind, body, and spirit are all linked, that she looked into alternative. Her healing practices exposed her to a wide range of non-mainstream ideas, such as the healing power of meditation, holistic therapies, and spiritual lessons that helped her understand her physical and mental health better. Evans has said that her health problems made her slow down and look at her life, changing her attention from success and material things outside of herself to inner peace and health. Evans started a relationship with Jay in 1985. Jay was one of the most controversial people in the metaphysical world. Self-proclaimed spiritual guide Z. Knight says he can talk to the being known as Ramtha, an ancient warrior from Atlantis. Evans was drawn to Knight's teachings, which mixed New Age spirituality with personal freedom. Who was looking for solutions and meaning in her troubled personal life and health problems. Evans's relationship with Knight brought her to Ramtha's School of Enlightenment, a spiritual group that Knight started in the Washington town of Yelm. Teachings of self-mastery, consciousness expansion, and metaphysical activities are what the school is all about. The lessons of Ramtha are meant to help people reach higher levels of consciousness, consciousness and mental power at different levels. Evans saw this as a new road that focused on healing, personal growth, and getting closer to the universe. Many people have questioned the truth of Knight's claims over the years, and her lessons have been criticized and controversial. However, Evans found comfort and inspiration in them. Evans connected with Knight's ideas because he was looking for a experience that changed her and fit with her desire to heal and learn more about herself. The way Evans learned about metaphysics and alternative medicine was very spiritual and personal, and it helped her take back control of her health and well-being in order to live a more stable and peaceful life, to be closer to Ramtha's School of Enlightenment, and to live a more nature-centered life. Evans finally moved to Rainier, Washington, 
Moving wasn't just about being closer to school, it was also about living in a way that reflected the spiritual and philosophical views she had taken on. Evans found peace and freedom from the stresses and distractions of Hollywood life when he moved to the country. Her sister, nephew, and ex-stepdaughter, Sean Catherine Derrick, who has stayed one of Evans' best friends over the years, live with her on a huge 70-acre farm. Evans can fully express herself in the religious and spiritual activities she values at the estate, which she sees as a safe and peaceful haven. Being close to nature and her family has helped her build a life that puts her happiness and health first. Moving to Rainier also meant leaving her old life behind. Evans was famous and successful in Hollywood, appearing in shows like The Big Valley and Dynasty, but her health problems and spiritual awakening made her rethink what was most important to her. She decided to be out of the public eye so she could heal and grow as a person. The move showed that she wanted a calmer, more thoughtful life where she could continue her spiritual path and stay more connected to nature and her family. The connection between Evans and Jay. The School of Enlightenment by Z. Knight and Ramtha has caused some trouble. A lot of people in the spiritual community and the general public don't believe Knight's claims that she can talk to an ancient fighter. Some people have said Knight is a fake, and others have said the school's beliefs are crazy or like a cult. But Evans hasn't changed her mind about how much she values the lessons and how they have helped her. Evans has defended her role with the school by saying that it has created peace for her and helped her deal with problems in her personal and health life. She has stressed that Ramtha's lessons are not about blind faith or devotion to a single person, but about giving people power and helping them reach their full potential. For Evans, the school is a group of people with similar views who all want to learn more about themselves and master themselves. When Linda Evans was arrested for driving while high on a prescription drug in May 2014, she faced a big legal and emotional problem. The arrest happened in Washington State, where Evans had been living in peace and quiet after staying out of the public eye for a while. Evans is known for being private and low-key, so the event may have surprised a lot of people. However, it brought attention to the complicated problem of prescription drug abuse and its possible effects. Police pulled Linda Evans over because they were worried about how she was driving. News reports say she was drifting on the road, which is why the police stopped her car. Evans said that she had taken a prescription drug that made it harder for her to drive when she was questioned. She was arrested for driving while impaired even though it was allowed for her to use the drug. A lot of people think of Dewey's as being caused by alcohol or illegal drugs, but Evans' story shows that prescription drugs can also make it unsafe to drive. Prescription drugs, especially those used to treat pain or other health problems, can have side effects that make it harder to move, respond, or make good decisions. For Evans, it turned out that the medicine she had been taking made it harder for her to safely drive her car. Evans had been open for a long time about her health problems, especially her fight with idiopathic edema, a disease that causes people to retain fluids for no known reason. She had looked for alternative treatments because of her illness, but she also used standard medicine, like prescription drugs, to manage her symptoms. This event showed how hard it is for many people with long-term illnesses to balance their care with the side effects of the drugs they are given. Many people with chronic illnesses depend on prescription drugs to help them deal with their conditions. But these drugs can have side effects that were not meant, especially when doing things like driving. Painkillers, sedatives, and other drugs can make it hard for a person to think and move. Taking it is directed by a doctor. People who are dealing with health problems may find this hard because they have to find a way to balance getting good treatment with doing daily tasks like driving. Even though people had different reactions to Evan's arrest, 
A lot of them felt sorry for the actress because of her health background and the fact that she wasn't drunk or high. Many people thought that what happened was a sad result of her long-term health problems and not because she was acting carelessly. Evan said she was sorry for what happened and understood how dangerous it is to drive while drunk, both for the driver and everyone else on the road. Evans was facing the usual legal consequences for a DUI, which usually include fines, probation, and sometimes a brief loss of one's driver's license. The specifics of her legal case weren't made public, but it's likely that she had to follow standard legal processes for DUI cases, like going to court hearings, getting fines, and maybe taking a driver safety school. Even after being arrested, Evans' image was still pretty good. As she dealt with the fallout from the incident, her long career and the goodwill she had built with people over the years helped her. Along with that, the DUI was tied to a prescription drug instead of. People were less harsh on illegal drugs because many of them knew how hard it was to manage long-term health problems with medication. In addition to Evans' DUI case, there was a larger discussion about the use of prescription drugs and how they can affect people in ways that aren't always clear. More people are getting prescription drugs, which has led to more DUEs involving drugs, helping people with pain, mental health issues, and other long-term illnesses. There are risks that need to be carefully controlled with these medicines, even though they can change your life by giving you relief and making your quality of life better. Some people may not fully understand how a medication might affect their ability to drive or do other chores that need full brain function. Evans has had a lot of problems in her life. From her troubled marriage to John Derrick to her health problems with idiopathic edema to her arrest, she faced both personal and business problems, but she has always shown that she can bounce back from problems. She has a strong personality because she can change, grow, and find new ways to heal and learn about herself. Evans's journey into faith and alternative healing is a very personal part of her life, showing that she is still looking for balance and peace within herself. She has learned that true happiness comes from inside, even after being successful and famous, and sometimes you have to step out of the spotlight to find it. Evans lives a peaceful and spiritual life now on her farm in Washington, D.C. She still follows the lessons of alternative medicine and metaphysics, and she has found a sense of unity that was hard to find when she was younger. Even though some of Evans's choices have caused controversy, she has stayed true to herself and her views. This makes her an inspiration to people who want to find their own way to peace and self-realization. If you like this video, please click the next button and like and subscribe button.